this is what hammer toes look like this is what they look like corrected here's what they look like on the inside in the most extreme cases so here's what a bunion is a bunion is a splitting of the first and the second array what can usually happen is the big toe comes underneath the other toes and starts to deform them this is the most common cause but there's many different causes so you could have big bunions, you could have little bunions. Correcting them, there's lots of different procedures with varying healing lengths. And it's the same thing happens to hammer toes. You could simply puncture with a needle and straighten the toe. You could actually cut it open, lengthen the tendon, or you could start putting implants in and actually reinforcing with dowel-like structures. So you could see kind of that example we had here. There's lots of different implants. Basically, if the joint's arthritic, you need to correct the joint and straighten it out, and you can put an implant in. In lesser cases, you could simply cut the tendon and it straightens back out. So there's lots of different procedures. Usually you're combining a bunion with a hammer toe, some tendon lengthenings, and fixing, here you can see the fifth toe, and the fifth toe bunionette. Same thing here, a pin correcting the bunion and the fifth toe, lots of combined procedures. So you got to cover it for at least a couple weeks after surgery, as you can see, ways around it. We like to avoid casts because that means you can't drive. We want people to be functional and walking after this surgery. So we like to go with boots and shoes, depending on how severe the surgery is. And in most cases, the incisions are minimal. The recovery time can be quicker. This is at one week, corrected bunion and hammer toes, and then at a couple months out it looks pretty good and this is what it looks like during the healing process then afterwards you can see almost no scar in most cases so that's the dressing you wear for about two weeks and then you're back into a nice supportive pair of running shoes so getting bunion and hammer toes performed can be between two to six weeks protected no driving for a few weeks if it's your right foot pain medication for one to two weeks and usually it's about 10 days or around there in the boot before you can get back into a shoe and really moving come check us out at michigan foot doctors we have a great amount of podiatrists well trained at the hospital with fellowship training excellent surgeons with thousands of surgeries national and Michigan-based speakers, as well as involved in residency programs and instructors. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. If this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is michiganfootdoctors.com.